Every time I see this intro screen, I get reminded of Command & Conquer Generals. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. This isn't Command & Conquer Generals, but it is Armor Clash 3, and it's a game we've taken a look at a few times on the channel, and it's quite fun, receives updates, and is like a solo dev project. If you like yourself some RTS games, and if you like uh, kind of that old, uh, the old-time golden era of RTSs, then this game is definitely for you. You're here because you want to see some experimental vehicles today. We've taken a look at the giant aircraft carriers and such before in this game, and now there's some really cool uh, new stuff with experimental vehicles. So let's hop in and see what's new. That we'll do the classic, I guess, two v or well, two-player map, Coast, and we'll see if we can uh, play as uh, I don't know. We'll play as like quote-unquote America. Steel Alliance is like America plus Germany for some odd reason. Then there's also Legion, which is like uh, uh, Russia and like the Eastern Bloc states, and then Gaia, which is kind of like uh, all the other European nations plus maybe Sweden too in there, or Scandinavia in general. Let's go ahead and play as the Steel Alliance. We'll be America today. See if we can deliver some freedom. Let's see if we can go uh, against, yeah, these guys, and we'll make them red. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and start our game. Scoot, scoot. Ah, yeah, the Halloween update's still out. I'm recording this after Halloween, but there you go. All right, now, let's see. We can select a few experimental units. We have the Asgard tank, the Quake gunship, and the, what is this, Mulheim gunship? Ooh, this one looks really cool. This looks like, these look like ships out of, like, No Man's Sky, Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen, that type of thing, and this reminds me of the Mammoth tank from Command & Conquer. Well, we got to go with the big, uh, big O ship, I think. So let's go with that there, and let's begin building our base. Now, I will say that this map looks rather bland compared to the other maps that the developers made. This must have been like the first one that they made and didn't really update it that much. It kind of has some jagged edges, and I've seen some better maps in this game. So I guess this one is just kind of like, a, you know, maybe more of a placeholder for something that was never updated. All right, let's go ahead and add ourselves a barracks now. You know how this works, right? We gather materials in order to get money in order to then make units to destroy the enemy. And with three different factions and with the ability to play like, uh, if you want, like a 1v1 up to four players, that's pretty cool too. So we got our resource center here that's gonna bring in cash, a little crane that goes back and forth from containers and then delivers it here for money. We're building a shipyard now so we can go out and capture the aircraft carrier that's in the corner. So that way we can have ourselves uh, some extra firepower against the enemy. Oh, what were they set to, by the way? I didn't even take a look. Were they at easy? That eh, doesn't matter. I'm here to see the units and we can experiment with them. All right, let's build ourselves a factory, too. Uh, this will be for ground units. Build that up there. There we go. And we got ourselves a shipyard done, so let's go ahead and build uh, maybe two, three... Uh, what, what were those? Destroyers? Frigates, and we can also build destroyers. We need a radar center to do that, though. So let's go ahead and build one of those. The factory needs to be up and running, though, for us to build the radar dome, and then we can finally build the airfield, which will allow us, hopefully, uh, to get that aircraft that we're looking for. Let's build some ground units while we wait to defend our base. Let's set a rally point and pump out a bunch of uh, rocket soldiers. And let's get some uh, Metal Gear solids so we can deliver some solid snakes to the front line and develop a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Radar center. Need a little bit of cash. Looks like we need 3,000. We gotta get those base defenses up. Right, so the main purpose of the game is to capture these zones here. These little uh, flags and mercenary camps so that way we can make more units. They're defended, though, by enemy units, so we need to be careful. But we can destroy them and capture them for points. Three major uh, capture points here. Ooh, ooh. Looks like the enemy's got a navy up and running. We got a navy, though, too. Commander? Yes, okay, looks Commander. like three ships spawned on top of each other. All right, we're going to need a lot to take out the uh, defenses around that carrier. So we're going to need to... Uh, I think we really want that carrier, so we better continue to pump out naval units. And we need to get that radar up, though, so let's actually cancel two of those. And that should be enough to build our radar dome now. And let's see. There's our radar center. So we can get the German uh, Leopard 3 tanks, which is how I know we got Germans in this game. Uh-oh. One of our damn ships went rogue. No. Oh, boy. All right, head over there. All right, so we need to destroy these. These are like Russian... Um, I think these are cruisers. But they're like neutral. Me and the enemy don't control those. All right, we lost the ship now. All right, sink them, boys. Oh, wow, that enemy ship is really powerful. We'll have to attack in a group then. They're quite strong. All right, good. The radar dish is complete. Let's get our aircraft up now. Build an airfield and start bombing the enemy. Now, one thing about this game I that irritates me is the fact that the... Um, like, I have to go to the edges of the screen to scroll. There's no WASD. There's no arrow controls. So it's a little obnoxious, but... 
Not that big of a deal, I guess. Power plant, airfield, communication. completed. It's still building. Uh oh. We're engaging enemy units. Wow, look at this. We got pickup trucks. They've added new units to the game too, like uh, rocket launching pickup trucks and some other stuff. Kind of cool. Oh, now we have a free unit. Nice. We now have a T-72. Beautiful. It's a good tank to have. Oh, I want it on my side. Uh oh. The enemy's got helicopters. All right, we're going to have to build some anti-aircraft units. Come back, boys. Let's see, what do we have for anti-aircraft? Artillery, MLRS, fire support, air targets. There we go. Basically the uh, German flak, uh, the flak panzer. Or the Leopard, I think, in this game. The uh, It's on that chassis. Leopard 3 to our tank variant. And we also have the Longbow Artillery, which I think was Swedish. Well, let's keep making units. We're going to need more defenses around the base. The enemy's getting a little close. All right, carrier's ready to go. Good. Very good. Now we can have two carriers under our control. Look at that, baby. Okay, let's go for uh, some destroyers here. We're going to need a pretty large navy to defeat the enemy. Oh, yeah. Oh, they just got wrecked. Beautiful. They're sending in more units. Well, if they're on easy, the enemy's going to put up a big fight with all that uh, helicopter. Ooh. This is like a ballistic missile. Oh, wow. Is it actually tracking a unit? Oh, hell yeah. Damn! Wow. All right, that's cool. Oh, enemy helicopters. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Ah, perfect. The rocket troopers can engage helicopters, just like I was hoping. All right, let's get into position to destroy a enemy ship. And we got more naval units coming. Go destroy that one. Is the enemy random? The enemy has different units than us, I think. Their base is over there. One of the enemy ships has been sunk. Oh, my bad. L little collateral damage. That's n that's not a problem. Big boy is ready to go. Here, wow. Heavy gunship unlocked. Oh, and it's sinking that one. Nice. All right, let's see how this uh, heavy gunship does in action. We'll bring it down here. All right, boys, let's go capture our second carrier. This belongs to Raptoria. Out of the way. Okay, let's build a few more naval units. We'll build a couple of those as backup. Now, aircraft. We can build AC-130s. Seems to be like... Sounds like there's a battle going off, like, to the far left or something, but... Okay, enemy ships are trying to ambush us. Oh, here comes the aircraft. Oh, ah, it is the same. Titan class. Wow, now we have two aircraft carriers ready to rock. They don't stand a chance. Oh, beautiful. All right. Well, rather than attacking them with our Navy now, let's play our Navy defensively. Let's make sure we bring all of our naval units here. We'll have a giant blockade. This is 
just keep pumping out units. All right, what can we pump out here? Well, I like the artillery. That was pretty sweet. Let's build a couple more of those. Also, a few MLRS, which I believe stands for... Well, you'll tell me what it means down below. I think I know what it is, but let's see if you can guess on that one. I'll uh, give you a clue. The M stands for margarine. Yes. Oh, we can build more than one of those special units. Well, I guess that's what we're going to be doing. Now, let's see this thing in action, right? That's what we're here for. Look at that thing. Damn. That looks awesome. Good detail. I like it. Heavy gunship. Ready to go. I can hear gunshots and stuff again. All right, let's go up here and see what we can find. So a heavy gunship that can destroy everything on the ground. Let's go over this way. Let's raid the enemy's flag. Uh-oh, they're going to try to launch a scud. Oh, hell yeah, we just launched a giant nuke ourselves. Oh, damn. That blew the hell out of that thing. What was that? Wow, it destroyed like a city block. That was awesome. Well, the scud destroyed the building we occupied, but the troops are safe and sound. Let's close in on the enemy, see if we can just how much destruction we can do. Get wrecked. Like one or two uh, gunmen in there. That's like the future of, uh, you know, in like RoboCop and stuff, when they have built weapons to fight crime, these are usually what they build. <laughs> these giant gunships to eliminate the criminal. Right, let's go over this way. Wow. The fact that we have two carriers is pretty amazing. Okay, spread out those carriers. We'll maintain control of the ocean. Ground forces will move in. And our air force... Oh, no! It's down! Wow, that just spun in a circle. What even shot that down? Just little rocket trucks? Not as good as I was hoping. All right, hit them with missiles. Let's see how these work. Got tanks mixed in there, too. Oh, get wrecked, son. Oh, my... Oh, wow, that's overkill. That's overkill. All right, let's build some more units. So you can see why nations kind of abandoned the whole super heavy tank. Uh, like, you know, the mega weapon concept. And went for more main battle tanks. More guns wins. Rather than just one weapon that's very difficult to destroy. Let's get another one of those tactical nukes online. Bye, boys. Fire that tank. Yeah. Oh, wow. Did it get destroyed? Nope, it's still shooting. I can't see its health or any information about it, though. The navies are going to war. All right, boys. Let's move in. All right, let's get more of those experimental units up. There we go. We're going to need a whole army of those. More tanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bunch of missiles and explosions, and then America. All right, now it's time to capture the final oil rig over here. Oh, we're going to win. All right, let's go attack their base with the aircraft carriers. Too bad we can't have the experimental units on the decks of the carrier for, like, a VTOL platform. That'd be cool. All right, we've almost got our second one up and running. All right, boys, roll into the base. Let's bring our gunships. Technically, the carriers are like their own gunship. Oh, yeah. Awesome. We're losing some ships, but we got way more than the enemy. Units are coming in. Go ahead and take control of those buildings. Where's our gunships? I'm here, Commander. Mm, there they are. Send them in, boys. Ooh, this one's even a veteran. This one's gotten some kills. All right. Oh, here we go. America. Wow, that was cool. Two rounds of... Uh, Ground destroying action. 
All right, let's bring in some liberation. Wow, the missiles and everything. That's so cool, all those missiles. Oh, this unit's ridiculous. It fires like a giant missile and then a bunch of cannons. That's ridiculous. All right, let's take out these uh, ships here. Never mind, the Navy will do it. Yeah, instead of aiming, just bomb the hell out of a, a location. You'll hit something. Okay, those two ships are sinking. Confirmed. I think we've won this one, boys. Now, I want to see some of the other experimental units, too. So, since we've won this one, let's go back and, uh, well, let's destroy one more thing here. And let's try a different unit now. The other one, uh, you know, the aircraft are cool, but let's try, like, an experimental tank army. Where's that tactical nuke? Let me see it. Yeah. Nice. Enemy base destroyed. Damn straight. All right, experimental units are cool, but they don't really feel experimental. They they mostly just feel like a high-end unit because they shot down that unit pretty quickly. So without uh, anti-air support, uh, you're going to win pretty quick. All right, let's focus on a land-only battle. Let's do uh, hometown. And let's do... Uh, yeah, let's actually put the enemy on some sort of a difficulty. And let's play as the Steel Alliance again. Versus red. And uh, we'll play against... Uh, let's put on normal. We'll put it against uh, these guys, I guess. There we go. All right, this time we're going for that double turreted tank. Bigger than the usual one. Uh, let's go with the Asgard tank. Twin cannon heavy tank with machine gun and rocket launcher. This one was a... Oh, it was napalm launcher. And the other one comes with a auto cannon and ground target missile launcher. Kind of yes. repetitive, I guess. All right, let's build another one of these units. All right, let's go, go, go. This map seems a little bit more detailed to me. And it looks like there's three flags to capture in the center again. Yep. All right, let's go for the barracks. Uh, no need to build a navy this time around. Let's go with our vehicle factory there. Good. Very good. Uh, let's see. We gotta get that barracks up so we can capture some stuff. Let's build a fire base. I think that's like a bunker for our troops. Let's build another one of those. There we go. Get some base defenses up ASAP. There we go. All right, both of these are going up. Nice. All right, any more resource centers? We can raid these areas. I think we might get money if we clear out the mercenary camps. I can't recall. All right, let's garrison those. Pull back our construction units. Focus on base defense first. Good. There we go. Hopefully the enemy attacks us and we'll get some uh, veteran units. And we can go and attack this uh, mercenary camp here on the right side. Well, let's get some units ready going. I don't know if there's an occupation uh, limit to this. Oh, there is. There's like a thing up there. It's hard to tell, though. That's four and two. I think it's four in each building. A hardened bunker for our troops to exchange fire. There we go. Oh, it looks like the enemy's already making moves. So this is like the uh, Scandinavian, like European base minus like Germany. So it's like French units, British units, a mix of the like. Can we get more infantry? I think there's only two types at the moment. All right, let's keep building our forces up. We're going to need a lot to defeat the enemy. Let's get these guys out. There we go. Let's go do some damage. That's going to be a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. It will be. That's for sure. Let's get rolling, boys. Oh, enemy tank coming in. Oh, there's a mercenary camp right there. Let's go crush that one. And in fact, we can put our troops in the garrison. Let's lure them into an attack. There we go. Go for the big tank, boys. Nice. Yeah, use the buildings for cover. 
Uh oh. Is that the enemy? Oh, they're punching through to capture yet another mercenary camp. This one's mine. Get out of here, nerds. Oh, perfect. They're going to lose their whole army. Get up there, boys. Get those reinforcements up there. Crack those units. Let's get some more infantry up here. And more MGS. Go! We need more guns. Hold the line, boys. Get rid of that missile vehicle. There we go. Let them have it. All right. They're pulling back. Nice. Woo. Okay. That was rough. But we got them. All right. We got to take out that other mercenary camp now. Let's get some more units up here. Bum, 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 bum. Ready for service. All right, we're going to try to capture a flag. Oh, the enemy's already got two flags. Bum, bum. What we need here now is money. Seems like money was coming in faster on the other map. There we go. All right, this building's almost destroyed. Oh, another wave of enemy troops. Wow, let's go for that center flag. Forget it. Take their units out, boys. There we go. Oh, do we not get our troops back when a building gets destroyed? Aw. Let's get more infantry. Enemy is now controlling a building here. Let's close in on that center flag. All right, let's build more. What do we need next? The radar center. We need 3,000. Almost there. Radar center's got to go down next. And then the power plant. Oh, we got some pretty powerful infantry. Ah, oh, they must have javelins firing at us. All right. Nice. All their forces just fire missiles, so it's really hard for them to kill infantry. So let's go with more infantry. There we go. We're winning, boys. Then we'll have our forces come down here. There we go. We're even again. I wonder if we uh, get more money when we capture flags. I'm not sure how that works. All right, we need to get a power plant next so we can get our big tank up. Our tanks, they suck. We need to get better tanks. Oh, and our troops can auto-heal. Good work. Good, let's just lock everything down. All right, power plant is next, boys. Let's see how this big O tank looks. So that'll be the next thing to unlock around here somewhere. The Conreeve? Oh, that's the name of our MLRS. Okay. Units are locked into position. Oh, I was going to get those troops out of there. It's kind of annoying that you lose a whole squad if the enemy, like, destroys the building. It'd be cool if they could just get out... Otherwise, it's a little bit too much micro, that's all.
I clicked the Asgard, they're kind of smushed together, so maybe there's a, uh, a difference between the vehicles. That's alright, some ground support aircraft would be pretty good here. Although I wanted to see that tank. Darn it! Pretty sure I clicked on it, but they were pretty close together, so maybe the, you know, the box is invisible on the screen. It's all good. We need air support. Broken arrow! Okay, our infantry is pretty badass. They're able to get those units out of the way pretty easily. Alright, so these are 3,000. A powerful gunship to attack ground enemies. We could also get an AC-130 up, too. But that's going to cost quite a bit of money. Well, let's get another Quake going. Good unit uh, name. That's pretty sweet. What if we can build a resource thingy here? It looks like a, a bunch of empty containers. Wow, we got a couple of infantry just holding that position. Let's get reinforcements. Go, boys. Alright, good. Alright, get everyone up there. Let's go. Let's get that air support. A tank is good, but these aircraft maybe even are better because they really can't shoot back at us. Really reminds me of the Osprey from Command & Conquer. Oh, get wrecked. Nice. Alright, I think we're ready to move into the enemy territory. These guys absolutely suck against our anti-tank troops. Oh, awesome! Good job. That's a good unit. Let's make sure we keep making those. Alright, the I guess paratroopers and air support are all we need. Let's pretend these are paratroopers. Alright, move in, boys. Other aircrafts on the way. They are very slow, the uh, experimental units, so I guess you only use those when you punch, need to punch a hole through the enemy's defenses. And I suppose it would be made here if we unlocked it. It'd be kind of nice if you could just not choose the experimental unit, but go with them all to give you a lot more options. Alright, let's wait till that second one's here. All right, let's unleash some pain. Get all those reinforcements here. Uh oh, that might be an anti-aircraft gun there. Those actually might, oh, yep, they do. All right, those do pretty good damage against us. All right, we're gonna need the infantry to come through. All right, we got to punch through those anti-aircraft guns for victory. We need those out of the way. So let's get those uh, longbow artillery, was it? Those tactical missiles that I like so much. Nice. Okay, things are looking really good. We got a chance here, boys. Now let's get the other one in here, the Kong Reeve. Connor Reeve. Let's send him in. Actually, we can keep this. Oh, let's go uh, see if this can take out a... Yeah, this could probably take out a whole... Oh, look at the range on that. Oh, that's... That's broken. Wow. You need, like, some serious missiles to get that. But I guess, argumentatively, this would be like a AC-130, just stationary. Or it can fire on the enemy and they're not able to shoot back. There goes the missiles. Alright, let's send in the boys. You guys clear the way for the... 
uh, the artillery. Oh, artillery, don't fire the vehicles, please. Clear the way for the Air Force. Well, that's one gun out of the way. Here we go, let's deliver some freedom. Let's get that last missile launching. There we go, the door is open. All right, let them have it, boys. Looks like our aircraft were able to heal, too. All right, pull back, we'll leave it to the Air Force. Let them have it, boys. Freedom delivered. Bring in reinforcements just in case. Oh, looks like they were able to actually shoot down that aircraft. Or it stopped firing for some reason. All right. Oh, no, you don't, Europe. Nice try. Trying to build a building. Concentrate all guns. Fire! <laughs> Get wrecked. Get rid of that command center. How are they building this stuff? Don't they need a ground unit to do that? The AI is cheating. In order to rebuild this, they need a ground unit. Like a bulldozer or a tractor. Get rid of it. Yes, Commander. Roger. I'm here, Commander. Roger. There we go. That should clear the way. I guess this was better than the tank. I clicked the wrong one, but I am not dissatisfied with my mistake at all. Finish him off, boys. Damn straight. Cool. Aircraft carriers, giant missile flying thingies, and also attack gunships for the air. What more could you want in Armor Clash 3? All right, guys, that's my time for today. If you want to see more of it, make sure you smash that like button. RTSs are all but dead, so uh, smash like. A lot of you won't, but for those of you who do, you're breathing some life into uh, otherwise what would be a dead genre. I really need to see and want to see more RTS games, and this definitely is a fun one to... Spend a little bit of time blowing stuff up and building cool bases and just rushing the enemy. Makes me miss Command and Conquer Generals every time I play. Alright guys, you've been amazing. Thanks as always for your support. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for everything you do. By the way, if I have more keys to this game to give away, I'm doing game giveaways on Twitter and Instagram and also on our Discord. So if you don't have one, make one and follow me on Twitter with the links down below in the description. Tap that, follow me, and you could win mini games, Anno 1800, uh, and, uh, well, like AAA games, indie games, and uh, mini games in between. So, if you want something for free, why pay for it when you could just win by following me? I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.